it really was not worth paper it was written on at that time. It feels like a matter of luck as to whether you succeed or not. It's a lottery, a hit and miss game, whether you can actually get the resources in time. A statement is a legal document which sets out what a child's needs are, um, how they will be met and by whom. And it's legally binding on local authorities once it's actually up and running, which is why parents often like their children to have them because it provides protection for the future. Good morning, Salome. Good morning, Nifarshan. Hayden's nine years old. He was diagnosed when he was around two-ish with being on the autistic spectrum. Good morning, Hayden. I was lucky, managed to get things going while Hayden was at nursery. So it was pretty much before he'd even finished his nursery um, year, he was state fully statemented with the full amount of hours. Who can remind me what still life is? What I would say I found the most difficult was actually enforcing that statement. He had a very, very, very difficult year in reception. He did not do one full day at school in his whole reception year. Um, that was very stressful. I was almost made to feel that his condition was a weapon used against him for excluding him out of school. Can you see that as different colours used? You've got in a statement that says, yes, this child will hit, will tantrum, will get very distressed. But you're then saying, well, it's for exactly those behavioural issues that he can't be at school because of health and safety of our teaching staff. To make a darker His statement was saying he needed the social interaction. He needed to be able to cope with playtime. Then towards the end of that year, school year, it was finally decided that no, that wasn't the right setting for him. It, it was obvious, I think, to everybody much earlier than that. But I think the school were too scared to say, we're not coping. But at least at his last annual review at that school, it was, yeah, it's not working, need to find him somewhere else. Um, and we did. I want you to start painting and uh, finish your paintings today. Yeah, we had to paint these. Your turn. He gets two. One. In two days' time, in two days' time, yes, in two days' time, We've been talking about applying for a statement for Naftali probably for about the last year, year and a half. Backwards. What does it say? In two days' time. Look at the first word. Time. In. Two days' time. In. What we're waiting for is to get all the pieces two, of the jigsaw one, into place, really to give us the best possible chance of being successful either the first time around or on appeal. Oh, can you help me? I don't think that one fits on quite yet enough time. I want to leave it there. We started off by thinking that it was largely about his speech, which was slow, and his ability to kind of construct sentences. And over time, it's become clearer that actually his, his problems are really sort of non-verbal rather than language related. Two days ago, hmm, it's going backwards, I guess. You're right. It comes across as almost precocious, in fact, but if you probe a little bit deeper. He often really doesn't understand. So you're on Tuesday. I've tell you, you're on Tuesday and you need to go Backwards. how many days? Over the course of this year, we've had, okay. we've had quite regular conversations with the school about what is the right time to go for a statement and what do we need in order to go for a statement. And we've also tried to progress getting a medical diagnosis because it's not quite clear what the problems are. We went back to town look for my bag his reading is in the acceptable boundaries for his age it's not way down below like or everything else but then when you start asking well how did the boy feel when they took his bike away or how do you think he felt when he was pushed in the water those kind of sort of how those empathy based questions he doesn't he finds very very difficult but unfortunately when you sort of you know we were told when you have this statement process I say oh actually you know his reading's OK. OK. How do you decide if you, if you lose something? School action 
is a first stage when a child has special educational needs where a class teacher might observe that a child has some additional needs that need um, additional resourcing and paperwork. Um, after that, it may move to School Action Plus where external professionals become involved. For example, the Educational Psychology Service or specialist teachers from a local authority may come in and work with that child. Naftali's on School Action Plus and yet were it not for us doing our own research and the school having mentioned it, there's no way that we would know about a sort of statementing process. At that point, um, and this can take quite a long time, <laughs> sometimes years, um, then um, at that point you may apply for statutory assessment of that child's needs and parents can apply for statutory assessment or the school, ideally both at the same time. If you don't have your school behind you, and you know, I guess we're lucky that if you like the school do support the idea that we should go for a statement. It may be interesting to note that parents have more rights in this regard than schools, and it's quicker if parents apply, but obviously you wouldn't want to do that without the school support. So hopefully at that point it will lead on to a statement. What shape are you going to make first? Square. Okay, let's see if this dot is part of the square. So we've got one. The school psychologist pointed us in the direction Good. of the Hope what Centre as being somewhere that specialised in helping children with cognitive difficulties. Should we draw these two in? You want to draw those two in? This one? Yeah. Naftali, just stop a second. Remember where we went? Naftali came to us a few months ago and parents were frustrated because he was having difficulties accessing the curriculum. They weren't really sure what's, you know, what was the matter. The Hope Centre is a centre for cognitive education. So we work with children aged from three up to 19 um, and we work one-to-one -one with children that really need work on their thinking skills. <laughs> the work with the dots was all about planning what he was doing, holding in his head what he had to do, deciding where to go next, sequencing. The school has been, you know, quite supportive and quite good at advising us and their view, like others, is that Naftali needs a statement, needs one. ongoing one-on-one -on -one support in the classroom Two. to progress and that when he has that, Three. he and can learn. How many dots do we need in the square? Their advice to us is also that it'll be very Which difficult well, to get I one and okay. that we should while well, they will support an application from us, their advice to us has been to wait and to see what happen to see what happens. And it will brighten it up slightly, but it will still be dark. Science is kind of difficult for me. You need to do experiments and you have to explain why why this and why that. Uh, that's, that's the only subject that I don't like. He does find sometimes articulating what he wants to say on paper quite difficult. Explaining why this and why that. Um, like predicting and um, that stuff. Hayden, get a small brush because then you can like... Take it up. Want more. And then this is quicker. Uh, what was so great when he came here was the fact that I was made to feel that my concerns were important. Hey, we made grey water! There was always that option that if I wanted to come in for an for a chat, just to sort of discuss what was happening, and for us to work together. Is that kind of that part? If you want to, you should just kind of. It's really good, and the teachers are really nice, and um, the classroom is big, massive, and people in the class are kind of nice. As a teacher, to understand that you never have all the knowledge about a child, parents and teachers need to work together, particularly when, well, when you have a child of any type of need, particularly with special educational needs, 
Parents may know, for example, that their child doesn't like a particular colour or that they find eating in a big group or a level of noise very difficult. It's absolutely imperative that you have that relationship with the parents and also the consistency between home and school so you're following the same types of um, strategies. If the support's there, they can access it. If the support isn't there, then it's stressful for the other children in the class, it's stressful for the teacher. I'm going to make this side lighter than that side. He is succeeding um, in every way. He's got friends, he loves coming to school, um, he does, he's doing great. I only got one best friend in the class and I got a best friend in another class. Um, one of my best friends is called Corey. He's in my class. We've been friends like for two years now. I think this is going to be very interesting, what happens next with Hayden. Um, he's doing very well at the moment. He's coping well at school with the support that he has. Soon I'm leaving this school in year six. I'm going to be in Queensmead. And it's going to be really scary because it's high school. The sort of work they're going to be doing at high school is going to be completely different to what they're doing now. And I think that's, I've, I'm hoping it won't be the case, but I think I'll be having a battle on my hands to justify him having extra hours when he goes into high school. But I think that's what he's going to need for it to be a success. Mm, let me try news blue and green. Blue. I think I made your colour. Oh. I want him to have access to the best education that he can for his ability um, and, and yes in some ways not to be treated differently but to be accepted as an individual. He, is, he may have a label of a condition but he's still Hayden who's got great personality, he's a bubbly little boy. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> Okay, let's put lots and lots out. Set. Mm, now hold on a second. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Look carefully. We want the statement because it then kind of at least sets in stone, makes it very clear what has to be provided. Mm. Which one should you take away? That. Very good, that one. I think that obstacles are deliberately, or appear to be deliberately put in your way all the way along, um, and it doesn't seem to have the best interest of the child at the heart. For a child like Naftali, um, I think one can only be fairly pessimistic about whether we're going to succeed in getting a statement for him or not, despite the fact it is abundantly clear that he will only attain what he's capable of educationally with additional support. If you've got a panel who are turning things down and yet the, the process isn't transparent to teachers who are applying and to parents, that makes the process very frustrating and difficult. It seems bizarre, either provide it or don't provide it, but don't provide it and at the same time, you know, make it incredibly difficult to access. Worked really, really hard. At the end? Yeah, that is. You did really well.